look, little Miss Mitzi is with us today. Are you happy to be going grocery shopping? What do you think? Can you look at the camera? You don't like, she doesn't like cameras. friends welcome back to the channel we're doing our grocery shopping early this saturday morning i am at the king supers i'll be switching it up going to target this morning and then over to sam's club i've got a very special guest with me today um here she is in all her glory let me see if i can get her there she is there she is hey say hi Hi, Mitzi. She doesn't like cameras, so she doesn't even know where we're looking. But anyway, I brought Miss Mitzi along with me for the ride um, just because she was up early with me and I thought she'd like to get out of the house a little bit. Um, so, so yeah, so I'm probably just going to run into King Supers. I don't know if any of you guys are like this, but it scares the living daylights out of me to leave her alone. Like, I don't think anyone's going to steal her. But, you know, because if they lived with her, they'd know, like, hey, she's high maintenance. Like, we don't want this one. Like, she, she, she's too, she too needy. Anyway, um, but I have her with me today. So I'm going to run in, do this really quick, and then I'll probably drop her off. And then I'll go to Target and Sam's Club. So um, I don't need a whole lot, just like produce. Feels like it's been a hot minute since I've done a grocery haul. So I need some produce. Um, I need to kind of stock up on a few things. I'm getting ready to head out of town. Um, in a week or two, so I want to make sure I've got the dogs situated, make sure I've got Dave situated. Um, super fun. Last night we went to the Denver Auto Show. Definitely a much needed break. It has been, it feels like it has been a whole couple of months. It's, I don't know, work, life in general, other things just not letting up. So I feel like it was, it was a nice night out. And um, so yeah, so we got to see all the the new cars, check out all that. Um, so we're we're kind of uh, I don't know, I guess we're kind of car people. David's a big classic car guy. Um, I just kind of like the newness of cars. Like you know, I think it's fun to mix it up. I'm kind of looking for something new to me, um, but definitely used um, because we don't have the money for some of these new cars. Like. <laughs> Oh my God, that was eye-opening last night, kind of seeing that. Um, so, so anyway, but we've been kind of poking around, but it was a fun night out. Like I said, definitely much needed. So I am going to head into the grocery store, get the stuff on my list. Hope to God that this little angel is still in here when I come back so I can take her back home. Okay, that was a record setting uh, grocery trip because I was so stressed out the whole time that somebody was going to steal her. And yet here she is, still here. So I'm gonna take this little one back home and finish it up. All right, I am back. Dave's in the background making the dogs breakfast, so Try to hopefully keep it kind of quiet. Uh, so we're gonna switch things up. We're gonna start with Sam's Club. It is springtime and it's time to start thinking about watering the lawn, but who are we kidding? This is going to be Dave's car washing set. So uh, not too bad for 20 bucks and it's pretty heavy duty as well. So we've got the wand sprayer and then just the little hose nozzle sprayer. So we got that. Also, we are loving these and I'm guessing that the season is almost over, but the Sumo Citrus Oranges, these are so easy to peel. They are huge, they are sweet. Um, so got another box of those. And I have been looking for a pair of biker shorts. I don't know if I'm gonna like these at all, but they're like 10 bucks. So got some biker shorts to wear around the house. And then we have strawberries, super cheap. They must be in season. I think we've bought them the past couple weeks and one or two batches haven't been like absolutely delicious, but we'll see how these are. Of course, eggs for the puppies for their breakfast. And this is overkill. We'll see if I get through it all, but six bell peppers. I think these were like $5 and in the grocery store, it's probably like, I don't know, more than a dollar for one. But I figure I'll just uh, cut it up, um, use it for like dip and hummus, or maybe we can put it over nachos. I'm sure we'll figure something out. So we've got a ton of bell peppers. And of course, dogs, Dave, everyone is eating the blueberries, me included. And some Brussels sprouts. I need to remember to like 
run these through the food processor just so we have some shaved Brussels sprouts throughout the week. Of course, we have the mushrooms as per usual. And I just cut these up, uh, throw them in the oven and roast them for, I don't know, normally about 20, 25 minutes and you know, kind of season them. But yeah, so they shrink down from this gigantic box into nothing. So got those. And then we've been enjoying the convenience of the Swiffer wet jet. Not the wet jet, we don't have the wet jet. We just have the normal little mop. So big box of those. And that is it for the Sam's Club haul. I didn't have much I needed from them this go round. I don't think that was English, but, uh, but that does it for Sam's. And again, I was saying that I was switching things up. So I went to Target for the just kind of like cheaper things that um, I can find a little bit cheaper than at King Supers. So we'll get into that, but quick rant about that as well. So I think Target, I don't know if it's just cause I go too early in the morning, but self checkout is not open at Target either. So I don't know, it's just awkward when we're now bringing our own bags instead of using plastic cause the checker doesn't bag it while you're doing your like credit card thing. So it's kind of like awkward, like trying to bag everything. <laughs> Willie's trying to find out what's in here. Anyway, into that, speaking of the dogs, we needed to get them some little toothbrushes. So we got the teeny greenies for them. They are completely out. All right, I also picked up this Somos Smoky Chipotle Mushrooms with roasted tomatoes, onions, and spices. So I'm not sure what we'll do with this, but it looks like it's, they show it with uh, tortilla chips. So maybe put it over rice or some nachos or something, but 60 calories for a serving, two and a half servings in here. So thought we'd try that out. Another thing that has always caught my eye, I thought I would treat myself today, is the miniature corn dogs by Field Roast. These are vegan, so we'll see how those taste. Um, what else? And then we have a little something new to try. I believe this is vegan. Um, I've seen it, I think on one of the Instagram channels. Anyway, it is the Dr. Pepper Dirty Soda from Coffee Mate. It does say that there, that it may contain a milk derivative, but I don't really know what that means. So I thought we could do a quick little taste test. I have little glass of ice. I have a diet Dr. Pepper, which I do like from time to time. Um, so we'll see what this tastes like. Okay, so the serving size of this is one tablespoon. We're gonna just measure that out with our eyes today. Um, let's see, one and a half grams of fat, five carbs, includes five grams of sugar. So definitely not like, this is not diet food, which is fine. A little treat. See how it tastes. It kind of sounds gross, but it kind of sounds good. So I can get this thing off without losing a nail. Okay, let me see if there's any other instructions here. Okay, dirty soda. I need glasses. This is like the teeniest, tiniest print ever. Um, use in moderation. That's good. Okay, whatever. We're just gonna pour it in. Okay. I think that's about it, right? And swirl it around. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> of course we have to have Dave taste it. Mm. <laughs> it's kind of coconutty. Yeah, beachy. Mm -hmm. Tastes a little beachy, like you would eat it, drink it on a beach. Yeah, and it's, I mean, it's not creamy, creamy, but you wouldn't think that you're drinking soda. All right, not sure if I'd get it again, but we'll make our way through this. It's a little treat. Maybe when the, sun, when the warm weather returns to us, we'll enjoy that out on the patio. Also got a box of the boil and bag rice. I'm going to be making some dog food, I think probably this weekend. Also have some, what is that, sugar snap peas. Probably gonna cut these up, put it over like, I don't know, maybe an Asian dish or something if I do some tofu and rice. Um, got some cold brew, of course. Although this is the Good and Gather brand. I've never tried this, but it was super cheap. 
So we'll try that. Always can use some coffee. Also, this was pretty cheap as well. The avocado oil spray, I am out, so I bought two. I did get these on sale as well, the plant-based uh, semi-sweet chocolate chips. I just keep these in the freezer. I'll add like a handful to the breakfast cookies in there. And then we have two cans of pumpkin for the peppers. And I got like everything in twos at Target. Also got two cans of black beans. We're out, so I need more. I also need more counter space. And then I have two cans of chickpeas, just because we ran out, but I am going to use one of these cans to make a fake um, chicken salad with some mayonnaise that I whipped up all vegan. And where's my other, where's my other bag, people? That's it for the Target haul, turns out. <laughs> I didn't get too much this week, so it's kind of weird. Um, anyway, so on to King Supers. I didn't get much from King Supers either, because like I said, I was worried that somebody was gonna take my dog. <laughs> so um, so it's kind of in and out. I'm not sure if I got everything I needed, um, but I think so. I don't think I needed much from there anyway. Um, so couldn't pass up a few good clearance buys. We got some sourdough bread for $2.60. I believe this is vegan. Um, yep, this should be vegan. I am a sucker for a good sourdough, just like I'm a sucker for anything pretzel. So we've got the Hawaii, King's Hawaiian pretzel sliders for $2.75. These are not vegan, just so you know. It does contain egg, milk, and soy. So, but I couldn't pass it up. Love some celery sticks for the fake chicken salad that I'm making. Needed some of the coconut flakes for the breakfast cookies. I am clean out. And also got some like little baby cucumbers. These were on sale for like 99 cents. So picked those up, we'll put those to use. Also got um, carrot sticks for dipping in the hummus. Also got some carrot shreds because it's just easier when someone else does it for you. And then we have a bag of the Honey Crisp apples. These were on sale for $2.99 for the bag. We always have apples in the house. And also on clearance were these Simple Mills nut butter stuffed cookies. I believe these are vegan. So a little treat to have around the house. We've got a couple treats this time. And of course, the two bottles of soda. So that wraps up my little grocery haul. Like I said, I'm heading out of town in a week or two. So I'm just gonna try and do some prep for the dogs, make them some food that goes in the freezer, make life a little bit easier, and maybe make a thing or two for the neighbor. But I think that will do it for the grocery haul. I'm gonna go put this stuff away, gonna prep up some veg, that way we will have it ready to eat, which will help us eat more of it. All right, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment down below what you got on your grocery haul this week. Give us a big thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe, it helps us more than you know. We'll see you in the next one. David, say bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.